Your local weather authority forecast is brought to you by Dorset Automotive. Chase Briscoe here encouraging you to check out all the pre-owned vehicles at dorsetautomotive.com. Now, your local weather authority with meteorologist Dan Reynolds. Beautiful picture there as we look at the Graver Post buildings where we came over downtown. Hey, I think we might end up going mostly clear before this night's over. We'll see. Well, here's what we're tracking. Oh, we've got some uh, warm weather. It's a warm weekend. Some Monday rain. Looks like it's going to be coming in after midnight and be out of here pretty early in the day on Monday. Warm up until midweek. Then a big cool down. We're going to be well above normal midweek, and then we'll see temperatures drop back to where they should be even below normal. Right now, some sunny skies at the airport, 83. Uh, humidity's at 47%, so it doesn't feel much other than the air temp. Winds out in the south-southwest at 10. Uh, pressure falling from 30.05. No rain today. Uh, it's been dry spill. Monday will add a little bit. We still have a bit of a surplus, 1800s. And then once we get the Monday rain, it looks like another dry stretch coming up. Lows, 60 Paris, the airport, 58 at Robinson, 64 Washington and Vincennes, some 50s off in the southwest. High temps pushed into the 80s across the board. Warm spot, 87 at Vincennes. Paris checked in at 85. And current temperatures just starting to cool. 82 over at Bloomington, 83 at Effingham. A little bit above normal for this time of year. But doesn't feel bad out there. We don't have a heat index to worry about. You can see tomorrow. Pretty much a repeat of what we had today. Maybe a degree or two warmer here or there in the winds. This will be out of the south, southwest tonight in that 10 to 15 mile an hour range. So something to stir up the atmosphere. Metro view, if you're headed out tonight, dinner, shopping, a movie, looks good. Just a few clouds out there. And again, partly cloudy. We'll stick with that for now. Maybe changing things to mostly clear. Been a quiet hurricane season. Here you can see tropical storm Fiona. It's going to hit Puerto Rico. It'll be a Category 1. Then, watch what happens. High pressure is going to curve it up and away from the coast as it turns into a Category 2. So the continental U.S. might dodge it, get some rain out of it. But so far, it looks like it's going to stay away from Florida, the uh, eastern part of the U.S. We'll keep an eye on that one. Big storm expected to hit Alaska tonight as well, remnants of a typhoon. We're watching that little system right there. I think it's going to share a part it, as you can see right there, late in the loop, yeah, it's pretty much doing that. And that batch and I was going to continue to move away from us. So I think we'll stay dry tonight. That's the only thing close to us for the time being. Locally, you can see that on satellite and radar. And here's Futurecast. You watch that system stay north of us. Gets pretty close. Up around Rand Tool in that area. Here we go. Sunday night late. Watch what happens off to the northwest. Overnight, there it comes, that line of showers with some storms pushing through. And again... During the wee hours Monday morning, while you're in bed, and then tapering off as we go through the day on Monday. Watch the rainfall out of this. Pretty much all falling on one day, Monday. Now, earlier, models had pretty heavy rain off to the northwest. Now they've kind of pushed it southwest. Three and a half at Amphingham. We'll see about that. But some of you could get some soaking rains out of this before that system gets out of here. We dry off after that. Don't see much rain. Just a few clouds. We'll keep it on next Saturday. Maybe a shower here or there. Temperatures are going to warm up into the 90s midweek. Then we'll start to cool down. Tonight, not a bad night. Oh, good. Yeah, models have updated and said clear skies, 62, so that's good. May go cooler than 62 with the clearing skies. 87 tomorrow, partly cloudy, a warm day. Then as you look ahead on the seven-day forecast, take the rain gear Monday. After that, 92 on Tuesday, still warm Wednesday. But big cold front pushes through. That cools us down to the 70s, even a day in the 60s. And maybe a few showers around Saturday morning or...